Having this true curiosity on the Randy Show. Do you quickly want to talk about the Kamakya corridor situation right now? Huh, Because so we've already spoken about the temple. I have many more questions about Tantra in general, but there is some aspects of 2024 reality right. that the audiences need to know. Right. So over to you, RN. <laughs> so, uh, so Kamakya corridor is like in the other temple uh, areas. There's a corridor that is being uh, planned, and my knowledge of it comes um, uh, particularly from various. Uh, videos that were tweeted about it by the prime minister and by the uh, cm of the state etc like many other people uh, so my and a group of uh, upasakas that i have so we have an apprehension that uh, building a corridor on the hill can cause a lot of damage to the existing um, uh, existing spiritual sanctity of the place the reason being that <clears throat> so first of all we are not against development so the whole thing is as i mentioned in kamakya unlike in other places uh, when you are making a structure in a plain land that is one thing okay no problem when it is a hilly area and you are making a structure that is that involves significant amount of digging underground so we even went through all the publicly available documents and etc and more or less uh, once we got it read through some people who have the engineering knowledge for this uh it was very apparent that they plan to make some structures with basements which would require close to 10 15 feet of digging on the mountain so if you're doing 15 feet of drilling that to piling method and all that it is going to almost certainly affect the flow of water underneath and that is the most damaging thing that you can do so in the whole process first of all attempting in my opinion the whole idea of trying to touristify everything itself is problematic in the first place that shows that you have not understood the fundamental essence of what is being done why this place is what it is and what is the paddhati is why it is to be kept different a place that has existed for 3000 years can be destroyed or can be tampered by the foolishness of one year of human idiocy you know i say this with all the respect for ma kamakya but i'm going to say something cinematic have you seen the mummy where they unlock that pharaoh's tomb and then a curse is released uh, i've i i think i'd seen long back i mean this is a common trope for mm. a lot of uh, mm. thriller films mm. uh we don't know the mm. kind of ancient energies mm. we're messing with mm. if absolutely we affect the yes. area surrounding <coughs> the kamakya devi yes. temple yes should leave it as it is in my opinion again to 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 complete what i was saying so the basic idea is that uh, so they have i think the government has also mentioned that we are not going to uh, destroy or tamper with any of the temples so but that's not the point the kamakya the most important thing is the water flow and that is exactly the same with all kinds of uh, temples or devalayas or kshetras that are there in ecologically sensitive areas okay that is very different from what you have on the plain lands so if you are doing that type of digging that type of building construction um, it is 100% very likely that the water flow will get affected if the water flow gets affected the pitha is going to get affected and i am not even talking about the 100 other things that are possible okay like. uh, for example Uh, as i said kamakya pitha is has a certain decorum so if you really want to develop a pitha and you have the best intent of people in mind and you don't want to turn a pitha into a disney land if that's your idea then it's a very different thing many people have that idea I means we'll do developments we want to we want a disney land everywhere some glitzy uh, you know shiny thing is there bahut acha then you educate people about tantra shastra you educate people how to do the upasana of the deity you make right it's a hillock right down on the basement you make 100 story building kya farak pad raha hai wo to acha hai it is good for the development good for state sab kuch then you teach them how to do sadhana of that date you explain to the you explain what are the paddhatis what are the protocols to be followed half the people they don't even know the paddhati that is followed in kamakya in eastern india when we offer karan to the mother and etc you ex- if you want if you really want to do something good with the pitha you explain to them you explain all these things to them you make you make jitna building banana down on below the hill you make anything you want but any process that is done on the hill without first a study of the hydrology of the hill and the ecology of the hill is definitely going to damage the spiritual sanctity of the place and i feel that every dharmik should 
inform their representatives or the government or whoever it is that you should not venture into this without first a thorough ecological and hydrological study that is mandatory because kamakya without that water is nothing it is the it is the the spring inside that is the life source of kamakya i would assume that the government has probably just not been educated about the things that you are saying i don't know which is very surprising because you have you are the government of india you have enough people you have enough money you have enough time who has stopped you from doing all these things it's probably the momentum of this whole temple rebuild thing that is making them overlook this because the other alternative to my current theory is that someone has told the people in power that don't do this you'll mess with the deity if you do this and they're like huh, i'm more powerful my thoughts are more powerful yeah human beings sometimes can become very uh, yeah. the other thing is and um, uh, not just that <clears throat> during the course of this uh, uh, this thing i was kind of busy with this for some period of time so 10 15 of us eventually when we did not find an alternative we filed a case in the supreme court also as a pil and uh, in the guwahati high court uh, again the idea is not that we are against development please do as much development as you want right below the hill who is stopping you that's wonderful more people will come they'll get educated it's it's great to know about tantra shastras and the significance of the beauty and power of makamakya but not in the way that you destroy that place in the name of development that is not development mm. that is destruction okay then that is stupidity what will the deity go through i don't know but i know this much that during this course of this last few months when actually i was totally busy with this this thing etc there were some um, a few at, at least three different deva prashnas were done um, deva prashna is a kind of astrological process to know that what is the implication and more or less it came that there will be uh, because it, this temple is located in the northeast of india and a deity like that doesn't doesn't want that type of a uh, massive destruction happening on the hill Uh, or, or tampering of the you know the water flow or anything if it gets affected then it can ha- have an repercussion for the whole of the country at different places and often this is not easy to link by the way why is it not easy to link because unless your mind is very sharp something in a, in vastu shastra the northeast is the area of the divine energy you do some mess in the northeast of your home your whole house will have complete lack of peace lack of peace means it could be anything some trouble here some trouble there god knows what i don't even know okay uh, so those were uh, those were uh, those came in so that is why uh, so there was a very clear guidance that came in during the prashnas that uh, as a devotee that's the max you can do that you can file a case and then see agar if you win win or lose is my win i don't even know what winning means to be honest this is not a personal matter for any individual um uh, 13 14 13 of us who are devotees of maa kamakya from different parts of india because remember she, the deity is not just one individuals anybody who has faith it is hers it is it belongs to the devotee in the first instance okay so uh, without taking those sentiments into account just in the name of development causing something that uh, breaks a 3000 year old tradition without i don't know if there's anything more foolish than that and in kamakya there is a very old story that is there you can find it on the google also there was this uh, the kuch bihar kings uh, there were two famous kings naranarayan who uh, was a great upasaka of makamakya they say and there is to be a priest who had the ability to uh, uh, so at night makamakya is to dance inside the garbhagriha they say okay and the priest used to worship her midnight eyes closed no one was allowed to see her the king and this is like i am saying 5 600 years ago and any everything that i am saying you can do a google and you'll find it this is all easily available internet information um, and the king was very desperate ki nahi mujhe bhi dekhna hai and he kind of perhaps bribed the priest or something like that and said that uh, i also want to see and the priest took him inside uh, at midnight and the deity got furious because of the breach of uh, protocol what is to be done etc they say that the priest's head was found next day in his house they say and the king not only was it thrown out till today the descendants of that royal family when they go even by a train close to the hills they put an umbrella so that by mistake also their vision does not fall on the hill she gave a curse that 
after that any descendant of that forget coming to kamakyas even if they look at the hill negative things will start happening and till this date it is followed and they were royal family i'm sure they had contacts and anything it is what it is the anger of a deity of that caliber it is to be superbly foolish to play with fire like that eternal anger oh you don't know some she is she's 3000 years old politics india this party that party these are all blips they come and go <laughs> for her point of view kuch nahi hai ye sab <laughs> man so i i don't know what this will happen as a as a as a devotee that is the max i can do i look at it as a seva to the mother that's all finally she will decide what she wants i have no clue i am i am you know only as a simple devotee because i don't even live there i'm not a priest there nothing as a devotee and a group of devotees we file this and then let's see is there any call to action for listeners no i have published a, a, a petition sort of in change.org just to bring more awareness about this but i don't as uh, i think the i think what people can do is perhaps talk to their representatives in the government or or their local uh, you know if anybody has any idea that this is uh, perhaps something they should reconsider and they should ensure that there is you, if you want to make if you want to do development do it just below the hill no one is stopping you you make whatever you want now you can make a full 100 story building also it will be wonderful you will have employment you will have glitz glamour whatever jo tumhe lagta hai development ka tumhara jo definition hai sab ho jayega but ensure that the water flow is not disturbed by excessive digging on the hill demolition activities i'm pretty sure this clip is going to reach the government of india uh, i'm sure that they won't be doing anything about it i'm really? sure they are already aware of all this really i'm just i i don't have much hopes on them to be honest so you think that this construction situation is going to go forward any anyway? i think it is going to go forward i think we are heading for some bad times in india hmm no so i have I, i don't run the universe i'm <laughs> just an ordinary person i have made peace with what it is and i also know that what is the dharma here my dharma is to do this and i will do this in between while organizing you know for the lawyers and things like that funds etc lot of other things happened uh, in between and i won't go into its whole saga in itself uh, many people left and things like that all right that's fine uh, but i was very clear the moment this guidance came that this is what has to be done whether the case gets thrown out or all doesn't matter for me it is seva to the, to the date what was the word you used astrological deva prediction deva prashna deva prashna hmm i got reminded of vija board you know the, <laughs> no that's the other thing <laughs> i mean to contact mm. negative beings mm. there is devices mm. like the vija board mm. here this is a technique to mm. contact deities so this is a kind of a this is there's something uh, popular in south india north india doesn't know this process well uh, it's called an ashtamangala prashna there are eight different things uh, that are used and uh, it can go on for days also there are people who are experts in this where basically they will predict using a bunch of kauris and different eight different items some of gold and some bibhuti and various things specific things are needed and deva prashna is basically to know what the deity is saying what the deity wants okay wants done it could be uh, either the will of a deity or it could even be what a deity is instructing that this xyz should be done and only people who are specialized in this who are very tuned to this who have a very strong level of intuitive ability can do this deva prashna it is not done anywhere and everywhere uh, i think it's traditionally done in some people who know this or who have the art of it so um, i found it very impressive when the deva prashna was two of three of them were three readings were taken a different two different people three different is it one where i was present and the other which uh, somebody i knew had gotten done and told me the conclusions uh, but the one that i was present more or less uh, everything that was predicted kind of that x y z is going to happen that is going to happen this is going to happen uh, and this is going to happen i i saw i would say a 98% accuracy of that i mean even the smallest of things i i won't go into details it was like so after so many months this is going to happen x y z etc 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 so when i started the dev prashna i remember there were uh, there were some people in the room when the prashna was happening i thought that they would be a part of this then 
uh, I have a recording of it also, by the way, with me. And he was very clear that those who are sitting in the room, these people are not the ones, somebody else, some pe other people will join you in this. And I asked that person then, uh, various other things, like um, to give you a simple example, I don't want to divulge too much of it right now. Uh, we were told, uh, in the Prashna, it was told that you will file first in the Supreme Court. Uh, our uh, lawyer was uh, quite keen uh, that quite sure that you know once we file in the Supreme Court, Supreme Court will accept it. But the Prashna reading, the the gentlemen who were doing the reading had said that uh, you'll go to the Supreme Court, you'll get rejected from there. You'll have to come to the High Court. There are a few other steps also was mentioned, etc. And uh, it's exactly what happened. While going to the court, Supreme Court, we were pretty certain. Even our lawyer was certain that it will get accepted by the Supreme Court. But the court told us, no, you go first to Guwahati, and then we will see and things like that. Even smaller, minor details, people who were not present at the moment, there was this specific individual who has to, uh, you know, must be part of the petition. Uh, but more or less what I saw is that in terms of uh, objective analysis of the accuracy of prediction, it was more than 98%. It was terrific. Uh, so this process in general though, is used in especially Southern, in South Indian temples often, I think. Uh, maybe not Vaishnava temples, I'm not sure. But at least in um, Shakta temples and Shaiva temples, perhaps this is used as a kind of method to get a guidance on what to be done. And once you do it, uh, I think it's very good process in the sense that if there are large temples, every 10 years they should once conduct this kind of a prashna. It should be done officially with the temple, not just average individuals. Official invitation has to be given to the people uh, and they should be conducting that. And that will give you whether even smallest of things like you have a particular process this time you do some archana that time there is a line deity can tell you that is this is right or wrong do i want this no do i don't want this etc and during that prashna i remember i had asked that gentleman that should i go ahead with this because i had that that mind the idea that if nothing works we have to go for a court case eventually and he was very clear that yes this is what the deity wills that the case has to go Win or lose, I also don't know. But again, as I say, I look at it as a seva. Rest, it's her will. If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer Show, we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics. So explore the channel because there's something for everyone.